What's up, fam? <laughs> and today we're doing a smoked meatloaf. We like to call it okie dokie smoky. As you can see, I already put it together, but I'm gonna let you all know exactly how I did and what I put into it. First of all, first off, I got some peppers and onions in here. I used the Lipton uh, soup base mix. I got some smoked paprika, some salt-free seasoning, some garlic powder, a little soul food seasoning, rich char sauce. I have four eggs in this meatloaf. This is probably about eight pounds. So I put breadcrumbs in there as well. So when you're putting this meatloaf together, what you want to do is make sure that you have it binded real tight because it's gonna go on, it's gonna go on the smoker and you want you want to be able to stay together. So make sure you put enough bread crumbs in there. When you mix incorporate everything, you'll feel the texture on that you want it tight. Okay? So that's that. I got my smoke out there getting up to temp right now. So two more minutes, I'm gonna go out there and put it on the smoke. All right, we'll be back. And oh, don't worry, guys. The measurements and everything will be in the description field. Oh, yeah, we'll give y'all the measurements. But as I always say, even though I gave you my, my measurements, the amount of uh, ingredients I put in mine, they ain't necessarily going to got to work for you. So use your own, use your own judgment, your own taste buds and everything. All right. So when I got a little time, I'm going to make the sweet and spicy glaze for the meatloaf. All right, so I'm using honey. I probably put like two cups of honey in the uh, skillet. This, this glaze here, if y'all ain't never tried it, and if y'all like smoked meatloaf, use this glaze. This glaze complements that meatloaf real good. Good question, what if they don't have a smoker? Can they put like some liquid smoke in there? Yeah, they gotta do what they gotta do. They ain't got no smoker, you know? So I put two cups of uh, honey in there. I'm gonna go. I got some chili paste. I'm gonna put like a cup of that in there. It's nothing really but like four or five different uh, ingredients for this uh, glaze. But like I say, hey, it's a real good glaze for that. I was trying to think of something else I could use it with this that good. I ain't came up with that yet. Maybe y'all can have to learn. I do. Yeah, if y'all got an idea, let me know. But if I come up with something, I'm definitely trying. I'm going like a cup of uh, chili paste in there. I'm trying to get two. Right now. Okay. Like, they in New Orleans playing on another channel right now. All right, so I put some rich side sauce in there, y'all. I'm using some smoked paprika. Probably like a tablespoon. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Like, <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Oh. I'm gonna incorporate all that. I was looking for some chipotle peppers yesterday while I was at the school, but I couldn't find them. So I had to get these habanero peppers. These are real spicy, so you know, use it at your own discretion. And he also recommends wearing gloves. Oh, definitely. Any of these spicy peppers you're playing with your hands, put some gloves on, I'm telling you, because that's not a joke. These peppers are hot and they, and it stays on your hands for a microwave. Yeah, that's real pretty good. Put a little more sour sauce in there. Is there a particular color you're looking for? Nah, this is right here. Oh, okay. I'm going to let it heat up and tighten up a little bit, though. I'm going to do a little sticky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But 
If it's too spicy for you, you can always add a little more honey to it. Cut the spice down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a good flavor though. Oh, yeah. I'm pulling more smoked paprika in there. This what we looking like so far. All right. It's smoking pretty good, but when you're dealing with that smoker, your chip system or whatever wood you use in the smoking with is the key. Constantly add two. Okay. Smoking with a chip right here. All right, Hickory. Hickory, Hickory. And they got different styles. They got different flavors. Apple, mesquite. Mm -hmm. I used to add some chips every 30 minutes. That's going to take a couple of hours to smoke. A couple of hours? I ate all day. It's crunchy. I don't like crunch. Eat your apple for me. You'll be all right. I have to go um, make a quick trip. Just gonna keep an eye on, eye on it. Key to those smoking is your, your work. That's your key right there. Ooh. My temperature dropped down to 1, 120, 125. I want it up around 50. Okay. Alright, we'll be back. Check it out. I just hit it with some of that sweet, the spicy glaze. It's looking good, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. And smelling good. Yeah. It's, got, it's got some ways to go, but we get now. You better hurry up before I eat you. Hey, well, come on and eat me. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Smoke. Hey, once you do that smoke meatloaf, game changer. You ain't gonna like the regular meatloaf no more. Game changer. You ain't gonna want that regular meatloaf in the oven no more. That mug looking good. Yes, sir. All right. We're going to get back with y'all. Hey, what's up, fam? There go that smoked meatloaf. Looking good. That's, that's a bad boy, though, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. It's got that uh, sweet and spicy glaze on it. Man, that, that's ready to go. Y'all see what it look like. I put some uh, green beans with some, turkey, with some turkey tails in it and some mac and cheese. So I'm gonna put a plate together. Let y'all see what it look like for the Sunday. Okay. Sunday dinner. It's about time. Yeah, it is. All right, go and get that thing together. Ooh. Ain't nothing like that smoked meatloaf. I'm telling you, hey, if y'all try to smoke meatloaf once, you're gonna leave that oven alone. Use this uh, sweet and spicy glaze on it. Man, that's sensitive. That's sensitive part. Look at that. That's it. Mm, it That's it right there. there. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all better get with that. Hey, look at that plate set there, y'all. You got some green beans with some turkey tails in there. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni got to be cheesy. That's 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 made in the oven there, y'all. That ain't no stove top macaroni and cheese. All right, look at look at that meatloaf, man. Tell me that don't look good. <laughs> Woo. Y'all don't know, Sunday is on the pop. Remember, every meal is fulfilling when it's made for love, y'all. Y'all have a good uh, rest of y'all Sunday, man, all right? Football time.